here you can see a complete motor. The first thing you need to do is to remove the gear cover from the gear. Here you need to remove the screws. Screws? Okay, screws. The cover has been successfully removed from the gear. You need this uh, crank like tool to fix the shaft when removing it removing it from the motor. Okay. And you also need this tool. You can have a look at of the inside of the shaft hole. There are lock nuts. We need to remove the lock nuts. You can see the first lock nut has been successfully removed from the shaft. And then comes the aluminum spacer. And then you can see there is a rubber spacer here. We need we also need to remove this spacer. I think I need a spacer tool. Okay. Here the rubber spacer has um, has been removed from the shaft. You can see there is another lock nut inside. We also need to remove this lock nut also with this tool. Wow, here comes three components. The first that you come, the, the thing that you come first, uh, comes out first is this thick lock nut. And then should be, should be the ball bearing washer. That, the one that should come out last is this ball bearing. Since all these components have been removed from the shaft, we can now Remove the gear from the motor, you see. Please be careful, there are two components here. You should not lose them. Two components. One is a ball, ball bearing washer and the other is a ball bearing. Okay, now we can change the gear now. Suppose this is a new gear. The first thing we should do when mounting the new gear is to put the ball bearing inside. Please be careful, there are two sides. Uh, the side with balls should face inside the hole. And then the ball bearing washer. Be careful, there is a so-called channel on the washer. The, the side with a so-called channel should come into direct contact with this ball bearing, you see here. And then we should insert the new gear. <coughs> you see, the gear has been successfully inserted into the uh, shaft hole. And now we need this tool to fix the shaft. Here are many components here. Which one we should uh, mount first? The ball bearing should be mounted first. Uh, be careful. The side with balls, the side with balls should be uh, mounted first. And then comes its washer. Be careful. The side with the so-called channel should come into direct contact with this ball bearing. And then we should mount this thick knock nut. When mounting this knock nut, we need this tool.
Okay, you can see this knock nut has been successfully mounted onto the shaft. Next, we are going to mount the rubber, the rubber spacer, and then the aluminum spacer. And at last, this thin lock nut. We still need this tool. Okay. Now the second knock nut has been successfully mounted onto the shaft you see here. Now we can remove this crack like tool and mount the gear cover. Gear cover. And we need to screw, screw them together with screws, of course. I think uh, the, for, the last step is, is easy for you. You only need a tool to screw up the two parts together.